Hello, welcome to RetroTech 100. This is just a little rambling video about me Pi 400. I've had this a few days. And I've been messing about today. As you can see, when I say messing about, I like the covering me desk full of shite. Anyway, this is Monk Ubuntu running. Um, I've just loaded it up. It's running on an SSD. And from the straight out of the box, the Pi 400 is up to do USB boots. So there's no fannying around updating or upgrading. So that's cool. I've literally just loaded this up. You can tell how ad hoc this uh, video is. I haven't even found my uh, tripod. It's here somewhere. The good thing about um, Monk Ubuntu is it's Ubuntu, but then it's got stuff added on already. So you've got RetroPie already built in. Lots of other gaming stuff already running. Obviously, there's no games on here. I don't know how I'd even get out now. Press escape. No, I've no idea how we'll get out of this. Press F4 to quit. And I'll try F4 then. F4 to quit any time. So I've got that to mess about with. It looks a lot like old Windows 7. So you've got uh, software. Uh, like. What would you call it? A software store. Uh, stuff like that. And this is running on a 60 gig SSD. I've just had it spare. With a little USB 3 cable straight into USB 3 port. No issues, no dramas, just downloaded it. Um, Use Win32 Disk Imager just to write the image and it's straight on. So I'll be messing about with this. And also, I've got RetroPie running on an SD card. I'll show you that now. I swore down this year I was going to buy no new hardware, but when this came up at 65 quid, I'd already sold me Pi 4 because I was using the Pi 3 a lot. But this was just too versatile for me to say no. Um, so 65 quid, I got it. I'm um, using this little 4x3 15 inch for RetroPie. I thought it got it went very well. Uh, this is a 16 gig image, which is on the Arcade Punks website. 4.7.1, which is what you need for it to run on the Pi 400. The keyboard doesn't run on this, which would be nice going forward for a micros image, because I think this would really lend itself to be able to use with a micros image like you can get on the Pi 3, because you've got the keyboard already built in. So on this image, there's like Atari 7800, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, Neo Geo, PC Engine, 32X. I would have liked to use this one on Monk Ubuntu, but some, for some reason it doesn't pick it up. It picks up on here, but not on Monk Ubuntu. So um, there's little foibles and quirks that I'm going to have to get around once. Uh, once this has been out in the world more and people are playing with it. I just like the versatility of it. Of 65 quid, you can plug... Hard drives into it, SSDs, USB keys, boot from them, boot from different stuff. Run all sorts of um, little programs and obviously run RetroPie. I think it's really good and if you can get one, I suggest getting one if you're into RetroPie. I've had all Pies. I've had the Pi 1, Pi 2, 3B, 0. And I think for 65 quid, you really can't grumble. Uh, yeah, so this is just a rambling video. Just showing me a little, little setup. Running on a little... Um, Controller for RetroPie. I've got this re uh, mouse, but guess what? I've got no battery, so I'm going to use this right predominantly with my uh, with me Pi 400. But I'm really impressed with the Pi 400. That's my little setup and my very messy desk. This has been RetroTech 100. I'll see you next time.